Hi Pisces, it's Power and Light Tarot coming to the reading. Today we're going to do a reading for you, Pisces, and these oracle cards are here, and they they are painting a story of you and whoever you're dealing with, right? And uh, on so somebody here feels like uh, the time is now, like whatever they've been thinking about, or maybe wanting to do, or maybe not even wanting to do. Maybe they just know that the time is now. Answering the call. We also have the wise leader here. So somebody is a beacon for others. Like somebody's kind of, maybe somebody's setting an example here. But it could be also that somebody's making a decision. Like a, and you know, maybe they're using their wisdom. But uh, somebody could be trusting that person. Like maybe going along with whatever they want. Or going, like joining them on a path possibly. So let's see, there could be wisdom about something else here. We have reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. So somebody is like uh, this wise leader. I feel like somebody's taking you. It could be you, of course, as you're reading. But somebody's taking like, somebody has the wisdom here, I believe, to answer a call. That's it. And to reach, they want to reach their destination. Uh, and the observer is here, so somebody's been thinking a lot about this or observing the situation. The skeleton can talk about the same thing. So we have the myth here, so that means that somebody here was questioning whether or not this was either the right thing to do, or maybe am I just kidding myself? It's just some type of a dream. I feel like that could be it. And you could be in a situation, uh, Pisces, that is... There's somebody here who is kind of bored with their situation or they're not happy in their union. This might not be you. It could be, it could be though. It probably is. But uh, if you're dealing with three people, like two other people, maybe you are dealing with somebody who's in uh, like a funky situation, a situation they don't want, right? There's guilt here too because the man is running and this is the Furies. And here he is running from Medusa. Because, you know, she has these electric snakes that she is uh, uh, spewing at her. Yeah, she's, they're electric, although there's no cord, of course. <laughs> there's no real, like, like, it's just kind of electric with her power. Yeah, she's not plugging it in the wall. No, she might get a huge tax, uh, a huge uh, carbon tax if she plugs too many things in because, uh, you know, they want, uh, they want to use all the power and with their, with their jets and across the world all day long. Uh, one even has a company that does that. Mm -hmm. uh, their footprint is so big, but they're going to tax us now. So, yeah, that's what they're going to do. So let's keep going with this reading, you guys. <laughs> you could be saying, <laughs> let's see. So we also have this card, and this is the Two of Swords. And uh, <coughs> it's like this man is walking here. The devil is behind him. But it's kind of a shadow. Like, I feel like he, he maybe doesn't... He's not sure, I don't think, if the devil is even really there. But somebody, like, somebody might feel like something kind of pressing or, you know... Maybe this answering the call is where somebody kind of doubts here. They're looking back about their decision here. There could be something in the past because he's looking back. There could be something that is kind of, you know, there's something. Maybe there is somebody from the past even, right? There could be. So let's see what we have here. Let's look at that two of swords and see what they have to say about that. This particular deck. And it is called, uh, it's called the two of swords. But let's see what they have to say about it, yeah. Are those swords or wands? Those are wands. Okay, let's look at the two of wands. They look the same. They do almost. In this deck. Let's see what we have for the two of wands. Mm -hmm. Here they are. Uh, and this is restlessness. Yeah, that's why this man's looking back. He's kind of, He kind of has a little bit of anxiety maybe, but uh, restlessness. In order to obtain what you want, you will have to face radical change or stop hesitating. Possible sadness or regrets. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's why he's kind of restless and he's looking back. So somebody wants to do something. They feel guilt. Yeah, they do. Because that's why the Furies is there where the man uh, runs from, you know, Medusa who's mad. That could be his wife, his girlfriend. Could be. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, 
Yeah, let's see what else we have. The skeleton is here. Talks about somebody who could be going deep. I feel like I said that. Somebody has a shadow side here. Yeah, somebody's like, uh, I mean, we all do, right? But somebody here is kind of, I feel like this regret uh, kind of speaks to their shadow side. Mm -hmm. And I feel like somebody kind of wants to fight for love, uh, possibly here. Maybe they want to be responsible about it. it. I feel like it has to do with confidence. I feel like somebody's probably answering this call and it's going to create some radical change in their life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Yeah, we have uh, the Galax. This is in the reverse. And, uh, and then we have the Axe pick. This pair here can sometimes talk about, I feel like it talks about a handshake. Let's see what it has to say uh, in the Conjure deck. The pair is, uh, it's the Jack of uh, Clubs. Mm -hmm. And this is foretells a dark man or a woman, possibly a sibling. It doesn't have to be dark, and it doesn't have to be a sibling. No, to dream of a pair shows visitation of a friend. Okay, so it is a visitor. Okay, I thought it was like a meeting. Okay, which is like a handshake. But uh, this is, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe business news is on the way. Somebody's visiting somebody here. That's what's going on here. And that's what this answering the call has to talk about. Somebody might feel like uh, it's now or never. They could be feeling that, and they are restless. They could feel guilty. Mm -hmm. Somebody might be running away from a union here where they're unhappy. This could be you, Pod, right? Yeah, it could. And then we have, uh, and then also we have the axe pick, and this is uh, these clubs. Sometimes they are good. Let's see what it says about the nine of clubs. Mm -hmm. I feel like the, the clubs are more of a. a Kind of a uh, kind of a neutral card. Let's see what it says. And this is reversed. Things will go wrong compared with other cards for further information. Okay, so this is uh, the Galax with this card here in the reverse. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a good luck card in the reverse. Things will go wrong. And we have the the axe pick here, mm -hmm, a miner's axe pick. And uh, this is in the upright. I feel like yeah, it is. And let's see what it says. Reap what you sow. Something's going to happen here, some change here. And somebody, I feel like somebody is realizing that they have, they, they're, they're going to reap what they sow. Like, well, you know, uh, I might have to answer this call right here, so I'm just going to have to reap what I sow. Like, I might be making my bed, and I might have to lay in it, right? And uh, I don't know if you guys know kind of what that means, but um, it just means that somebody might be making a mistake, or they could have already made a mistake. And now they have to lay in it. Usually it's, it's a little bit of a negative card, right? Because mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for, for Pisces. Let's see what we got. We have the Page of Swords reversed, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands. And in the path, there's an Empress here. So Pisces, I feel like you might want to reconcile with somebody, or you're dealing with somebody who does, and they feel guilty. Yep, let's see what else we got. We have the Three of Wands, the Page of Cups. Your challenge here is the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, so far, you know, I can't tell who's doing, if it's you who wants to be single or your person. But that's what the storyline is. Somebody wants to chase this Empress here, and they feel like they have to answer this call right now. And we have restlessness here, and this pair talks about a visitor. Yeah, somebody is like making a choice and I feel like they're making it because they feel like time's running out. Yeah, they feel like time's running out. Maybe they feel like they have already reached their destination. We have that card here. Your light is shining brightly and we have uh, the bubbles uh, down this beautiful path and then the, uh, the butterfly is here and the castle is here. Almost like this is a new beginning for somebody to have a home with somebody, right, with the castle there. Um, let's see what we have. We have justice. This is what you want. Your outcome is the six of cup, six of uh, wands, rather. So this reading here, if you're the one who is leaving Pisces, it's a major burden to you. If you're the one who's staying, it's a burden to you. Yeah. And what I mean by that is uh, you could feel guilty if you're leaving and you don't want to hurt somebody, possibly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
we have this card called disaster over here. I feel like it's more of a, I feel like it's a, it's a breakup card. Uh, and the page of swords is here. So you've already made up your mind to answer the call or your person has. The story is very clear here, right? The names are, uh, can be changed to protect the innocent, um, Pisces. You could be doing that. They used to say that in, uh, it was either the FBI or Dragnet. <laughs> So let's see, we have, uh, let's see uh, why you're carrying this major burden. You have the Knight, King of Pentacles. So this is your person for some, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Uh, you know, and this could be somebody who is maybe behaving like an earth sign. Maybe somebody with uh, financial, you know, kind of financial abundance. Somebody could who be, could be kind of earthy, right, which could mean a whole bunch of things. But uh, let's see what else we have. What's on your mind is the Three of Cups and the Page of Wands reversed. So, you know, this is, a, once again, kind of, you know, you could be resisting, you could have been maybe resisting a reconciliation with somebody or resisting doing this or your person is doing it or is, this is what's on your mind. We have the Three of Wands in the near future with the Hanged Man. So this is you turning your back or thinking about the future. You could be waiting for your ships to come in with somebody, or you could be turning your back on somebody here. See what I mean about this reading? It's totally, uh, yeah. And I feel like this is, for some, whoever your person is, they could be this king of pentacles, but right in the root is somebody here that, like, I'm not sure what role you play here. Right? As I said, you could be leaving to... Uh, join this empress here that you had in the past or your person's doing that uh, and I feel like this is about leaving I have it here in the environment is the nine of pentacles the single card like this is your environment like you know you're becoming single or your person is and we have the not we have the page of cups eight of swords reversed and the queen of swords so this is your concern yeah and this could be you uh, discerning uh, I feel like that it's the right time to release yourself from this situation that is about an offer, that is about a new start. Um, you could be discerning if your person's doing that, right? And we have the Nine of Pentacles in your environment. We have the Two of Pentacles. Somebody already made up their mind they want to be single here. Yeah, this reading's pretty clear. Justice and the World card. So, you know... This could be saying that you want the truth, you want to live a truth, you want to make a decision. You could be wanting balance in your life because you are ending a union, maybe for another one. The world card is talks about that and ending in a new beginning. It can talk about a great achievement and the achievement is so like so awesome sometimes that the past is kind of... It's like the, the focus can be like the new beginning. It could be more like, you know, uh, more important or maybe I shouldn't say more important, but more kind of in your face kind of. So you might want justice. You could be angry here uh, if your person is the one, uh, you know, who has this, who is answering the call, I believe, to a new union because of this guilt card. Uh, but the woman's very angry. So these in this card is the angry woman, Medusa, spewing the spewing the snakes, electric snakes at this man. He's running away because he feels guilty. So we have an angry person and a guilty person. That's what we have. And your desire here is the Queen of Wands. Maybe this is the person you want. If you are angry, you want justice here. Like, you're angry. Like, you, like, it's possible here. Let's see what else in your desire. The Hermit. Maybe this is the person, this is that King of Pentacles here, Virgo. Wow. You could be wanting to just shine your light here on the situation, right? The Ace of Swords. If you are becoming single, you feel like this is totally unfair. Yeah. You're angry and you could be, you could be thinking this is totally unfair. And if this is your person doing this, uh, or if this is you doing this, you might feel that you are finding balance uh, in, like, 
maybe in another union with somebody else or to leave this situation. Because these two people here in the, in the card are very unhappy. And the name of this card is Disaster. And the devil is behind them. And they are chained together. Like they both want to be released. Uh, but the devil has them chained. And that is the Disaster card. And, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You could be thinking here. Uh, you could be right here. Because you have the Six of Wands right here, Pisces, which is about a victory or an overcoming. But I feel like of a situation, I feel like what you are doing here is uh, you want, you want, uh, you might want the truth. Yeah, I feel like that's what you want here. You want the truth. If your person's leaving you, you want the truth. If it is you doing this. This could be you maybe seeking uh, balance with somebody else. Somebody else you think uh, brings you balance, possibly. Mm -hmm. I feel like you want to know the truth here for some. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah, I feel like you, you probably want to know the truth here. Yeah. Whether or not your person's having a victory, if that is how the story is going. And if you are doing this, you just want to make a decision to bring victory to your life. Yeah. And end this cycle with this person. And answer this call for a new beginning with somebody. Mm -hmm. So we're going to end this reading. Uh, and we're going to go to the extended. We're going to see all about your person. We're going to have the same spread for them. Yeah, their energy, what's crossing them. Why it's all happening. We're going to look at the past, what's on their mind. Who or what is in their environment. Their desire, their concern. Yes, their near future and their outcome. And the link is below. They're all super affordable. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless everybody. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.